Come with us on a week-long road trip outside of the busy city to Korea's more traditional areas. Starting from our home city of Busan, we took a three-hour train to Andong, Korea's historical capital. Being fall season, the whole city was surrounded with a colourful kaleidoscope of golds, oranges and deep vermilion. Andong is surrounded by many hiking trails, but we recommend Nakang Waterway Park with its views of the river and colourful landscape. Bongjongsa Temple lies north of the city with its beautiful Danchong. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, this temple was originally built in 672, making its main hall the oldest wooden building in the country. Haho Cultural Village is the main attraction of Andong, a traditional village from the Joseon period situated just outside of Andong city. It was even visited by the Queen in 1999 as part of her cultural tour of Korea. During our whole road trip, we stayed in beautiful, traditional Korean houses known as Hanok. This one was situated right next to the famous Woyonggyo Bridge, making for very memorable evening walks by the moonlight. From Andong, we took a two-hour bus to Gongju, a city that was once the capital during the original Baekje period. It's filled with many historical sites like the Gonsan Song Fortress, most of it has been restored and you can walk along its 2.6 kilometer wall overlooking the modern city below. You can also make a wish at the temple that still resides within the grounds. From Gongju, we took a two hour KTX train down to the port city of Mokpo. Known as the Port of Love, Mokpo is famous for its seafood, but also for its cable car that passes over the harbor. From its drop-off point, you can walk a little ways up to the Gohado Observatory, a modern building with a built-in maritime museum, cafe, and another great view. We do recommend catching the cable car here in the evening for the best seat in the house at sunset. From Mokpo, we took the overnight ferry to Jeju Island. We booked a beautiful Hanok stay on a green tea farm just west of Jeju City. The Hanok was hand-built by the owner and looked out onto the beautiful tea field below. There was even a little furry family on the property where we fed each morning while we had our breakfast. Jeju is famous for its mandarins, and as we were there during peak season, we headed to first time Jeju famous cafe built on a mandarin farm with a delicious menu using all local produce. The next day we went to Art Museum Jeju, a huge immersive media art exhibition. After a few days roaming around Jeju, we flew home to sunny Busan to relax. Thanks for watching. All the travel details and full itinerary is in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe for more travel videos to help you plan your next trip to Korea.